Hi, I'm Sam from Huawei Developers, and welcome to Develop with HMS Core. Today, I'm going to show you how to integrate WisePlay DRM into your app. DRM stands for Digital Rights Management and refers to technology and systems that restrict the use of copyrighted digital content such as music, videos, files, and ebooks. DRM protects content in two ways. The first is permission management, which includes limiting the playback duration and the number of times a video can be played. The second is data encryption, which can be used to prevent unauthorized copying or modification of content. WisePlay DRM is a DRM solution in the OTT domain that provides you with a free high quality digital content copyright protection capabilities that comply with various industry standards. Now, let's look at a demo showing us how to integrate WisePlay DRM. Note that complete integration of WisePlay includes client-side integration and server-side API integration. The method of integration that you use on the server may vary greatly, so please refer to the API documentation. The demo that you're about to see only includes a sample code for integrating WisePlay DRM into your app. First, let's take a look at the demo. Generally, a video app will call the DRM capability of a device when playing an encrypted video. This demo only concerns the service process of involving DRM API interaction in the video playback scenario, rather than the actual playback process. Moreover, the scenario includes both online and offline video playback. Online video playback involves obtaining an online playback license. Similarly, offline video playback also involves obtaining an offline playback license, then using the license and deleting it. Next, let's talk about integration in more detail. WisePlay DRM differs from other Huawei kits because it does not provide an on-device SDK for the video app to integrate. Instead, the video app directly calls the DRM API provided by the operating system's bottom layer. You need to configure the app information in Huawei App Gallery Connect based on the development guide that can be found on the Huawei Developers website. Here, you'll learn how to register as a developer, create an app, and enable WisePlay DRM. Currently, WisePlay DRM is available only to enterprise developers. Therefore, you must register as an enterprise developer. After WisePlay DRM is enabled, you will be allocated information such as portal ID, AES key, and sign key. This information will be used when WisePlay DRM server APIs are called and must be stored on your own servers and must not be disclosed. Next, create an Android demo app project. First, open Android Studio, select Empty Activity, give your app and app package a name, and click Finish to create an Android project. Open the Android manifest file and add the required network access permission. Open the activity main file and add four buttons to obtain, download, use, and delete license information. Open the main activity file and implement the onclick listener API. In the file, add the required global variables and the four buttons we just mentioned and set the license request URL. Call init view in onCreate to initialize the view components and bind the click event listeners to the buttons. Implement onClick and perform logical operations based on click components in the method. You can obtain the license information in Get Online License. First, use Media DRM to check whether the device supports WisePlay DRM. If so, create an HTTP request by passing PSSH box data into a data flow using Base64, using a UUID to create a Media DRM instance, and then using Media DRM to open a session. Create key request and import the session ID, data flow, data type, as well as the DRM command EY type streaming. Next, create an HTTP request, set the request method to post and request data type to JSON. 
and then ensure the request includes payload, PSSH box, and key type. Format the request result in JSON. Obtain the payload value and pass it using base64. Call provide key response to process the requested results, and now you can obtain the license information. Add get offline license and ensure the code is similar to get online license with only the command key type offline changing. Send the HTTP request and select provide key response to obtain the offline license information. Before adding use offline license, you need to check whether the device supports WisePlay DRM. If it does, create a media DRM instance, begin a session, and call restore keys. You must import the session ID and an empty byte stream. The license is successful if the message use offline license success is displayed. Add delete license allows you to delete the license. The code is similar to get online license and get offline license, where only the key type release command is changing and provide key response needs calling in order to delete the license. We have now finished our coding and successfully integrated WisePlay DRM. That's all for today's video. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments area below or visit the Huawei developers website. And be sure to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.